What's going on, everyone? I'm Ryan Drake. These are the five things you need to know for November 26, 2019. So we've been talking a lot about French Montana. You know, he's suffering from effects of severe exhaustion, dehydration, thanks to travel schedules, which saw him in tons of different countries, whether it be the Middle East or Europe. Sources are saying it's, it's unclear right now if he's going to be released from the hospital in time to celebrate Thanksgiving with his friends and family. Doctors still holding on to him to run tests and monitor his vitals. And I totally get it, man. But you don't want to rush something like that. That's serious stuff. So we'll say it one more time. French Montana, get better. So if you like the Millennium Tour, know that Omarion has announced a brand new Millennium Tour, but B2K, not part of it. But he did announce that Bow Wow, Soulja Boy, Pretty Ricky, Yin Yang Twins, and a few more will all be part of this insane tour. A little Nostalgia 101, if you will. I guess he ain't hooking his boys up on this one, but still a concert that will be fun to go to. So Bill Cosby has broke his silence. The 82-year-old is currently sitting to SCI Phoenix. It's a maximum security Pennsylvania penitentiary near Philadelphia. During the conversation, he said, I have eight years and nine months left. When I come up for parole, they're not going to hear me say that I have remorse. I was there. I don't care what group of people come along and talk about this when they weren't there. They don't know. He said his trials were unfair. Okay. He went on to say it's all a setup, the whole jury thing. They were imposters. He's guilty. We can all just go home now. During the conversation he referred to his small cell as my penthouse and he went on to say i'm a privileged man in prison and went on to say some other crazy stuff bill cosby a little off his rocker nonetheless he's 82 and uh yeah let's just hope he uh rides there in prison for a while so if you're a Conor McGregor fan and you were expecting a return in January in Las Vegas with Donald Cerrone, it's probably not going to happen. McGregor's manager last week insisted a deal was close and that we would see the Dubliner fight for the first time since October, last October. But in the UFC schedule of events, the first pay-per-view event of 2020, UFC 246, will take place on February 9th, and that'll be in Houston. McGregor's manager told ESPN, I would say that the talks have been progressing. We've met them. We're in close communication with them. I would hope an announcement could happen in the coming weeks, but at the end of the day, it's still a work in progress. I just don't know Connor's hungry anymore, man. But if he is, you know we'll all be watching. That's facts. And finally, this is kind of weird, but a British inventor's Rubik's Cube is six feet, eight inches tall. He's a puzzle enthusiast that has broken his own Guinness World Record by building a Rubik's Cube six foot, eight inches tall. And if you want to know what his record is for, he previously captured Guinness Records, the world's smallest Rubik's Cube, which measured in at 0.22 inches tall. I say this, have you ever played around with a Rubik's Cube? Very frustrating, let alone one that's like taller than you are. Can you imagine guiding that? Ugh, oh, hell no to that. That's it. Those are them. The five things you need to know for November 26, 2019. I'm Ryan Drake, and we'll check back in tomorrow.